Elections are a very essential part of any country's political process and progress. They are very expensive for the government, electoral body, and the candidate, particularly for female candidates in Nigeria. The United Nations has scored Nigeria low in the area of women participation in politics. Also, the report by the Gender Strategy Advancement International states that women participation in Nigeria falls below the world and African continental standards. Most female candidates in Nigeria need a lot of financial support in raising funds because of the expensive nomination forms, party fees, and running a campaign office. In bridging this gap, women in successful career, Whisker, in partnership with Chimamanda Adichie, organized a non-partisan fundraising in compliance with the campaign finance law in Nigeria. We were all disappointed in 2019 at the decline of female representation at all levels of governance. The percentage of female representation is currently at a dismal 3.6%. The picture is not likely to be very different, to be honest, in the 2023 elections, unless people like you and I come together, as we are doing today, to change the narrative, to change the landscape. I think that because of the challenges women face, because of the socialization women, women experience, that women are more likely to do things differently. Women are more likely to think of consensus, for example. Women are more likely to put their ego aside. But on the other hand, I do not think that the, the case for women is that they're better. I think the case for women political candidates and political representation is that women are full citizens. And if we want a more perfect democracy, then we should want better representation. The candidates presented their manifestos and spoke about their need for finance during the fundraising. The importance of female representation in politics also takes center stage. Women make up half the planet. So when you have a situation where women are 8% of representation, they're not representing society. And it's really that simple. And also women and men lead very differently. So there's the empathy that a woman brings to leadership and people talk about it. And the other flip side, if, if women are good enough to head companies, to head homes, to head businesses, why shouldn't they be in political leadership as well? This may just be one step in creating solutions to increase female representation and participation in Nigerian politics. Fumi Unajefe, reporting for Plus TV News.